Hey guys, so we have here our Sony SRS XB100 Bluetooth speaker. And in this video, we want to explain to you how to replace the battery inside of one of these speakers here. So in case um, your battery life is just gotten really short or the speaker doesn't charge anymore at all, then you can always get a new battery and just replace it in here and uh, bring your speaker back to life. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to open up the bottom of the speaker here where you see the seam here going all around the bottom. Um, that's where we're going to uh, open it up. Uh, I'm going to do this here with my pocket knife and uh, or at least I'm going to start this with my pocket knife by just aligning here the blade with uh, this seam and then I'm very carefully going to push the blade here right into the seam until you hear like a little bit of a cracking sound. So that cracking sound is the breaking of the glue that holds the bottom and the top parts together. And I'm going to do this all around the entire speaker. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. Take your time and be really careful so you don't accidentally slip with the knife and uh, injure yourself. So be really careful when you do this. I actually went around more than twice to uh, cut most of the, blue, uh, the glue. And after that, I'm going to use here my screwdriver. I'm going to slide this into these holes here and then I'm trying to pull the lid off here. And then you have to be really careful when it eventually pops off. Make sure it doesn't just go flying. And you can see here where the glue was inserted in that seam here all around the uh, speaker here. Okay, so now let's have a look inside. We have here a PCB, a couple of uh, screws and a plastic bracket. And when we look really deep down, then we are going to see here four more small Phillips screws right down there. So there's four total and we're going to just remove those four screws. And it's really good if you have a magnetic screwdriver for to do this. I'm going to show you this later on why that is. So now I'm going to use some pliers to pull out the entire assembly here. It's, it takes a little bit of effort, so it's not as easy as it seemed here. It may take you a minute to get this everything out here because it's also uh, glued on the other end of the opposite side of the uh, speaker. Okay, so now here we have this yellow connector here. And we're going to pull this off pull this off uh, the uh, PCB. So this is the connector that goes to the speaker, to the driver. And the driver we're going to simply remove by just pressing these sides here, the plastic, the frame a little bit together, and then we can easily uh, pull off the driver. And then right underneath here, we are going to see the battery. So the battery is glued into position. And uh, let me zoom in here so that you can see the model number when a replacement battery is available online and also going to post here the link to it in the uh, video description. So, and uh, when you remove the battery, when you pry this out, of course, you want to disconnect it first from the PCB and then be really careful when prying this out, especially if there's still a charge left in your battery. It's best to do this when the battery is completely discharged and doesn't want to charge at all because um, prying these out here is very difficult. You're usually damaging the uh, battery to a point here where it's actually um, in danger of catching fire. So when you, after you pulled out the old battery, which is here glued to the plastic frame behind it, um, then there is a chance that it will catch fire. So make sure you um, dispose of it and uh, like make sure you don't store it, keep storing it in your house. Okay, so then you just have to glue in your new battery right into the same spot. Make sure the wiring here, the cables are in the same orientation, in the same position so that we can reconnect the battery here with the uh, connector to on the, on the PCB with that port, plug that in, and then uh, route the uh, cables here through that little slot. Then when we uh, reattach the driver here, the speaker, we have to align this uh, in the same way as we took it out. So you have these three uh, slots. So you, see you have to have the uh, cable in the right orientation. You can hook two of these hooks. One hook you can easily hook in and then the other side, the hook on the other side, you're just going to press on the plastic frame a little bit and then that will 
also uh, slide in and that will keep the driver in position. Of course, don't forget to uh, also plug this in here into the uh, into the PCB. See that goes right underneath there, right next to the connector for the battery. And then now we can reinstall this entire assembly back into the uh, housing of the speaker. And of course, you have to make sure we put this in in the right orientation. See how you have the uh, buttons here on the outside of the on the housing, and those uh, buttons you are also going to find here, of course, on the on the inside here. You see those little white dots. Those are the buttons here on the on the PCB. So look for the one furthest to the right, the one for the power button. Just align it really nicely with the power button on the outside, and then before you slide in the assembly here, make sure you pull out this rubber piece here, the one from the from the dust cover. So again, align this with the power, align the power button with the button on the PCB, slide it all the way in. And this may take a couple of attempts, like it's not always goes in right straight in there. Uh, make sure if it's if it doesn't go, go in right away, then don't use excessive force, just pull it out again and try one more time. And I'm going to pull out this rubber piece here. I can slide this right into position. And then when you think you have everything aligned correctly, then you can, of course, yeah, check the, the buttons, make sure they are clicking. Or if you hear the clicking sound, then everything is all right. You can also try to uh, turn on the speaker just by pressing the power button. So the battery should be uh, pre-charged. So at this point, we should be able to turn on the speaker. See, now my buttons are working here and also the speaker turns right back on. So everything seems to be all right. And then the last step, of course, is to uh, bring the uh, four small Phillips screws back in. And that's why you need the uh, magnetic screwdriver. So it's, I think, I think it's pretty much impossible to uh, bring those uh, four Phillips screws all the way down there and screw them in if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver. It will take you a lot longer. Now the last step is to put the uh, lid back on here. Um, considering that we also pulled out the entire assembly here with the uh, driver of the on the opposite end, I do believe that the speaker will no longer be waterproof, but we should still apply at least some glue on the uh, outer rim here on the housing so that the uh, lid or the two pieces of the housing will stay together and don't just uh, accidentally uh, come become apart when we're using the speaker or transporting it somewhere. So I'll apply some glue around here. And then before we can put the two sides, two pieces together, we have to look for those two holes here on the on the lid and align those with those two pins that we see here inside of the speaker. Align those right there. And then we can press both pieces together and then of course let the glue harden. And yeah, that would already be it. The uh, replacement of the battery on the SRS XB13 Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.